Ah, so that happens when you have one bar of food left. Hmm. That one's different than everything. Weird. Ah, here we go. Mr. Eugen! Ah, it's you, lass. Mr. Eugen truly looks so defeated, it's hard to watch. That old Jockton. You oughtn't pay any mind to that old fool, Mr. Eugen. I'm well aware, lass, yet I need you to humor him. Humor him? Alright, I see. This whole ordeal has got me thinking, and I'm... I'm trying to make up my mind about certain things. I understand, Mr. Eugen. Thank you, Elise. You're a good lass. What do you up here? Nine. We can sell a few things. I get so lonely all by myself in this end. Buying. Ooh, they got more stuff. Holy cow, five and four. Ooh, I'm having no money after that, though. Not bad, actually, then. Okay, got my money bag at least. Ah. That should do it. I get bread from another place. apples. Wouldn't you say, Elise? Say what about what, Miss Lorley? One can only hope this nonsense won't last till Saturday. I suppose that's true. Hey, you're a clever lass, Elise. You can be honest with me. Who would you say took Eugene's horses? Miss Lorley. Why, you don't mean to tell me you haven't been wondering about it. Still, I wouldn't say it's very polite to be making guesses. Oh, you're no fun. Merely everyone else has indulged me but you and Freya. The poor lads defeated Ludwig. Even with this horse, it's so ill it won't be of much use for a long time. Heard old Jockin lost his mind for good, Elise. Well, that's... I wonder what's gotten into the old lad. He's always been rather ill-tempered, but... Old folks sometimes take a liking to superstition, Bernard. As for you, lass, you'd best keep busy until the festival. What do you mean, Mr. Ludwig? I fear old Jockin's going to start looking for the witch in Kieferberg. 
I'd keep out of his way as much as possible if I were you, Elise. I suppose you might be right, but... What a mess we found ourselves in. Nearly like time to head on home, isn't it? I still have a little while longer to go, Rosemarine. Hey, Elise. I've been thinking. Wouldn't it be nice to bring Flock to Kieferberg? Rosemarine? For the laddies? I've heard about Miss Elizabeth's goat and her children, and... Flock loves to frolic about. He could bring some chew to town. I can't afford a goat, Rosemarine. Oh, but Flock was never... These folks can't handle a pair of shoes, let alone a goat. I see. I understand, Elise. Flock is to be kept as far away from Kieferberg as possible, understood? Alright, Elise. Anything down here? Oh. This is the only peaceful place left in town, isn't it? I think you're being a little too dramatic, Miss Brunhild. Dramatic, Elise? All of Kieferberg is losing their minds. That's true, but still, I wouldn't. Oh, this can't be too good for my baby. Have you decided what you're naming them? Not yet. I'm afraid I can't seem to settle. Ah, speaking of which, Elise. What do you need, Miss Brunhild? Why, how did you know? But anyhow, wouldn't you have a word with Miss Lorley for me? About what, Miss Brunhild? Oh, she'll tell you, I'm certain. Okay, then. Uh, what's this way? And... up. No need to tighten it so much, Gruen. More like this, then? Oh, there you are, Elise. That's got you all so busy. We're teaching Grun how to do a Dutch braid. How's it coming along? Can you tell me? It's, uh... Well... Your hair is too silky, Miss Dorothea. It won't stay put. Letting my hair won't make your braiding look any better, Grun. Try holding it more firmly, why don't you? Like this, then? Ouch, Grun! I'm sorry, Miss Dorothea. Now that I think about it, Elise, you never put your hair up, do you? It's too unruly for that. It does look difficult to tame, Elise. The ribbon keeps it off my face, at least. Look, look, I think I did it. Oh, it's lovely, Groon. Isn't the little crooked on the left? You've got a knack for this, don't you, Groon? Let me show you how to make it a little more tidy. I don't have all day. Seems like they're back from looking for the horses, but... Horseshoes scattered about, you say? Mm. Found them just past the logging grounds, but... Why in the Lord's name would anyone remove horseshoes? I wouldn't want to lend weight to old Jockin's nonsense, but... Wake up, lads. They were hag-ridden, I tell you. Mm. This isn't the time, old Jockin. We must keep calm. Thank you for your time today, lads. I'll be moving along now. I've had enough of this wandering about. Hmm. I've never seen him so disheartened, I must say. I think you lads didn't find even a trace. He looked everywhere, Miss Marlin. The peaks, the lakes. Henrik and Tristan even followed the path to Primaldorf. Hmm. Got to give it another try first thing. I, I found it! I found it! Found the horse. It's right uh, outside. What are you saying, Maggie? It, it's the truth. It's lying on the ground. Is it alive? Take us to it, Lassie. My word. Oh, the poor thing. Good grief! It's nearly dead. What do you make of it, Eugen? 
He's exhausted. I'd say he ran here, by the looks of it. Well, that can't be. We've only just made it back. We would have found him or heard him or... I must say I'm a lost, lads. They were hag-ridden. No two ways about it. Look at it. Gasping for breath. Ill. Look at its eyes. Keep calm, old Jockin. Think you can nurse him back to health, Eugen? I'm taking him back to the stables right now. I'll lend a hand, Eugen. You fools ought not to touch that horse. Lord knows what the witch has done to it. Come now, lads. Let's go fetch him some water. He must have broken free from wherever he was being kept, I suppose. Broke off the reins and ran back to Kieferberg, I can't think of. Nonsense, Bernhard. I'll have it said right here, right now, folks. It's best you show some restraint, old Jock, and this isn't... Old Stefan warned us about this. Oh, not this old Stefan nonsense again, you old fool. You need to keep calm, folks. Arguing about this won't. Have you no memory of his words, Hans, Gustav? He spoke of the ill fortune we'd have of the witch. A folks' livelihoods slipping through their fingers. <sighs> Old Stefan was the tormented lad on his deathbed, old Jockin. There's worse to come, folks. Mark my words. What are we to do with him, father? Just wait for him to tire himself out. That's all we can do. Come, folks. Let's head back to town. Hmm. Things are starting to get a little out of hand, aren't they? yet. Yep, nope. Only at night time. There at the fill point. The apples. Nothing up there. It's not even the worst of it, sadly. Did anything else happen, Mr. Finn? You ought to have seen it, at least. There were a horse scattered about the locking camp. Dozens of them. Dozens? You should have had three horses taken. That's only a dozen. I could feel the hair standing up at the base of my neck. Whoever took them also removed their shoes? I can't think of a reason to do such a thing, in all honesty. A rather strange thing to do, isn't it? I'd wager it's a wandering thief of some sort. What'd you make of the saddled pig, then, Gaido? Mockery, Flint. What else could it be? What we ought to do, Gaido, is give Eugen all of our support. I understand it's painful to watch, and a mystery in itself, but... I clear that this is affecting Mr. Gustav. Ah, I need more bread. And I went and back up. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? And a
I think I'll keep it till night. Three. Um, I'll survive on that for now. That's the kiss the rat. That's the apples. Hear me, Alma. What's going on here? I'm just giving in to old Jockin's nonsense, Elise. All I'm saying is that folks need closure. It doesn't matter who's truly behind this, we need answers. You think we need to believe in the witch to get closure? I can't agree with that, Alma. If that's closure folks need, then we'd best make certain it's the good kind. I just don't see how we'll ever make sense of this, Heinrich. Not like this, Alma. Definitely not like this. Are you tired of being in here all night every day, Lev? Oh, I just came back from Miss Wilma's. Miss Wilma's? I was telling her all about old Jockin's bad temper. He's losing his mind, that's what. Folks have been considerably less tolerant of his outbursts lately, at least. Yet I've yet to see Father Hans or Mr. Gustav do anything about it. He's an elder, at least. Folks don't want to make too much of it. Anyhow, what did you go to Miss Wilma's for? Miss Wilma doesn't tell her much about what's going on in town, you see. She likes me to come by to chat a little. I thought gossip was a sin. Why, I'm still a simple nun. I'll have to wait until I die to become an angel. For goodness sake, Leb. I'm sorry, Mama. You're right to tell me, lad. Elise. Oh, I wouldn't want to interrupt. I'll call in a doctor from Primaldorf as soon as possible, Miss Elizabeth. However, without Eugen's horses... I understand, Father. Thank you. Is this about your goats, Miss Elizabeth? We're not eating now, Elise. Our eyes are fused shut, and the milk smells awful. And... As he says, Elise, my goats won't make it to Saturday, I'm afraid. About this matter, Miss Elizabeth. I understand your concerns, but folks will know better than to make any remarks. We must have faith in our neighbors. Certainly, Father. Remarks? I'm concerned about our standing in town is all. With all this nonsense about the witch, what if... We're not witches, Mama. They won't let anyone say anything about you or about Groon. Anybody here? Actually, nothing. I say you never know. Oh, Elise, won't you try to talk some sense in the more then for me? You old folks are truly so stubborn. What's wrong? Helen here is criticizing my sleeping cabinets of all things. Why not worry about my tremors instead, Marlin? I have good reason to worry, I'd say. Are you having trouble sleeping at night, Miss Murchild? On the contrary, alas, I get my fair share of sleep. With all these goings on, old merchantile. I'm well aware what it is you're afraid of, Marlin. Why, it's not the witch, if that's what you're saying. You do tend to wander about in the evenings, Miss Murchild. Bah, not you too, Elise. Where is this lady I'm supposed to talk to?
he's back up here. As if it's my fault, old Jockin's bleeding around town like some kind of goat. Hey, Miss Lorley, I was just with Miss Brunhild and... Good grief! Is everything alright, Miss Lorley? That lassie's losing her wits over her baby, Elise. Tormenting me night and day for advice. Ah, I see. I should never have told her I used to be a midwife. She said you'd know what she wants to ask, Miss Lorley. She's been struggling with her lower back pain, Elise. Tell her to have Guido massage her lower back or something. I couldn't care less. Huh? What are you looking at me like that for, you... No, it's nothing. I told her everything I know at this point. What else am I supposed to do? Well, I've already spoken to Miss Lorley, but... Well, let me guess, Elise. She said to ask Guido to give me massage, didn't she? What in the Lord's name is going on between you two? I'm sorry I troubled you, Elise. All I want is some reassurance. This is my first child, after all. I understand, Miss Brunhild. Ooh. Ah! There's no need, Miss Brunhild. For your trouble, lass. It's the least I can do. Oh, how am I going to settle down when everyone's on edge? Ah, I need that. There we go. There's some survivability if things get weird. Sure, Miss Linda. Aren't we all? I hate to ask, but could you fetch me some apples, dear? Sure. I'll be on my way. Thank you, Elise. I have my hands full of supper, you see. Uh. Oh. How many apples do these folks need, anyhow?
Eh, hopefully that's good. Yep, that was good. Hey, rank. Oh, this is just what I needed, Elise. Thank you so much, my dear. Of course, Miss Linda. Thank you. 